Good morning, everybody. It's beautiful out here in Maine today. So we've got a few different projects to do today and tomorrow. But the first thing we want to do is we've set the sprinkler up to water the herb garden and the potatoes and the onions and stuff already today. But did that first thing. And now we're going to be moving it so that it hits the blueberry bushes and strawberries and hopefully down near where the nettle and stuff is. So give us a few minutes to do that and then we'll kind of go through the projects that we're going to be working on. So we got back on Thursday night, which is kind of exciting because we're down to three weeks until we're here full time. It's kind of surreal that this is actually happening, that we're making this move. But yesterday on Friday, I didn't really film anything. I didn't film anything at all, mostly because I was overwhelmed. I think it's good to acknowledge that when we're here, or when we're coming back on just weekends, being here Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, you get back and you see all the projects that need to be done that you want to see get done between working on the house the gardens planting mowing it becomes very overwhelming and that's kind of how i felt and i think the only thing that really helps me when that happens is having a really specific list on what's important to do right now this weekend and one of the things we had to do is go pick up our countertops for our kitchen, which was a, they were about an hour away. So like I said, the countertops were about an hour away, so we had that drive to make yesterday. So we ended up not getting back till really close to noontime um, after picking up the countertops and then putting them away in the garage because we're probably a month or so away from needing them. But since we had found them, and they were what we wanted. Um, we had gone ahead and purchased them knowing that we were gonna need them. The other things we worked on yesterday was sanding some trim up high on the house so that it was done and ready for paint because I wanna build some of the garden beds in the front of the house and before we did that and filled them with dirt, we wanted to try to get as much of the sanding done as we could so it wasn't going into the beds. But I think it's hard when you're moving somewhere or doing anything on a weekend basis that you really want to do full time and you show up especially in the spring everything's growing everything's changing so much and you have a lot of projects and ideas flowing through your head and it can become very easy to be overwhelmed with that and like I said really the thing that helps me is knowing specifically on a list what's important to get done and really the most important things to get done this weekend is setting up our beehives because our bees are supposed to be coming next weekend so we really want to be ready for them so that's one of the things we're going to be working on today the other thing we're going to work on is starting to build or continuing to build one of the garden beds in the front of the house so we can really see what it will look like and make sure it's what we want to do Beyond that, we have a ton of other things to do from planting. I like to plant some squash seeds, uh, you know, put down some more uh, mulch and fabric in the garden to stop weeds, things like that. But that's kind of where we're at. So why don't you come along with us today and tomorrow and see how much of it we get done.
Oh, look at that. Good morning everybody. It's Sunday morning and it's going to be a beautiful day up here in Maine. We had a long day yesterday getting the beehives ready. They were in much worse shape than we um, had realized when, when we put them away. It's been almost two years now and in the moving process and stuff, uh, mice got into them and just tore them apart. So it was a long day of scraping um, the frames out, getting rid of a lot of wax, kind of consolidating what was good getting rid of stuff that was just destroyed. And then Kim spent most of the uh, afternoon sanding all the boxes and painting them. So today the goal is gonna be to put together the two hives that are gonna, we're gonna put the packages in and get them set up on the stand. And then I'm gonna try to work on finishing putting down um, cardboard and wood chips in the rows for the stone wall garden. So hopefully we can get a lot of that stuff done as well. Over here is where Kim had sanded and painted the bee boxes to get them all ready. And again, it was a much bigger project than we thought, but they are actually looking really, really good right now, which is great. So come along with us as we finish the process of getting ready for our bees. I didn't scuff the insides. I think. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. This one's got stuff on it. Yeah, that one was scuffed by the mice. Thanks, mice. I mean, you could take something and just gouge stuff out if you wanted to. Do you have any? Yeah. yeah. I'm going to put them in the middle. Don't they build out? I would think so. Yeah. These aren't like, well, oh, it's still less work. Yeah, we will. Oh, mouse guard? 
or the reducers, either, you know. I don't agree, but, oh, I think it, yeah, flip. I should say this side up. See this? Yeah. yeah. Only thing I don't like about putting the honey water out here yeah. is it's honey water. It's going to attract. Um, are there bees? Those, like we already have them visiting because of the stuff is out. So we spent most of the day working on the gardens, at least uh, I did. Kim spent most of the day finishing up the uh, beehives. She had to finish scraping a bunch of the frames and getting everything organized and put away. That was a huge work this weekend. A lot more than we expected, like I had said before, but it was pretty much all done at this point. The nice thing is, you can see over there, the hives are all set up and ready to go. Doesn't look like much, but we have at least I would say probably 10 other boxes are ready to go, scraped, painted, and the frames all ready as well in the stable, which is great. I spent the day getting the beds and walkways finished, so what we ended up doing is putting cardboard down and wood chips throughout all the walkways. And one of the nice things is our Nicola potatoes are just starting to pop up. I don't know if you can see those. The Katahdins haven't started at all yet, but the Adirondack Blues have also started to pop up. So we had another great weekend on the homestead and we're down to three weeks. We're excited. Three more weeks and we'll be here full time. Thanks for joining us today as we set up our beehives on the homestead. If you'd like to follow our journey in building this homestead, please hit the subscribe button and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you.